which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth to beseech you, O Lord, Lord your grace, grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, Christ our Lord, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and ble blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of a cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray that, for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant to beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father who entrusted our Savior to the care, to the care of St. Joseph, Joseph, by, by the, the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is strived to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and guide, 
we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence and the witness of our words and works in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching in speaking only to you and about you let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission with hope for your promise and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples by your will of god in your name o lord amen our lady of the holy rosary pray for us our holy father saint dominic pray for us please be seated for a while good morning brothers and sisters welcome to the minor basilica of our lady of the rosary of manawag today is tuesday in the 22nd week of ordinary time we will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the holy mass we invite you to actively participate in our prayers please stand Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the mighty God. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods he holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well he made the sea it belongs to him the dry land too for it was formed by his hands come let us worship the lord our mighty god come then let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are his people the flock his shepherds Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swear in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation from deceitful and cunning men. Rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. <laughs> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men 
among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night I give you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shield cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the beat of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you praise, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayers. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us are offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you chose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and the far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength, you are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of a wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that, by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need of anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night, when people are saying, peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for the day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of night or darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the others do, but let us stay awake, alert, and sober. 
For God is not destined us for wrath, but to gain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that we who are awake or asleep may we live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, as indeed you do. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Please so stand. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his temple. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them in, on a Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud, in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power, he commands the unclean spirit, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Sa Ebanghelyo na nabasa natin sa araw na ito, one thing really caught my attention, and that was the reaction of the people around Jesus to His words. They were so amazed of the authority that He possessed. And I was thinking, ano kaya yung ibig sabihin nun? Saan ba nang gagaling yung authority ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Why were those why were the people around him so amazed? And looking at it, I think Jesus had words of authority kasi yung kanyang mga salita klarong-klaro na merong pinanggagalingan at merong pinatutunguhan. Ang salita ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo may kapangyarihan may otoridad kasi merong pinanggagalingan at merong pinatutunguhan. Alam niyo po, ang mga tao sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo is not you know, someone new to authority. Actually, maraming tao na silang pinakinggan na merong otoridad pagdating sa pananalita. Lalong-lalo na patungkol lalong-lalo na sa mga pananalita na patungkol sa pananampalataya nila. And they were the Pharisees and the scribes. But then, what differentiated the words of our Lord Jesus Christ to the words of the religious leaders during that time? Ano ba yung pagkakaiba that the people around Jesus were so amazed of Him? Sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, Kapag ka ang pariseo o ang eskriba o someone who is considered to be a leader of the, of the church, of their faith, kumukuha lagi ng otoridad o kapangyarihan sa pananalita. Doon sa skriptura. Doon sa nag-establish ng skriptura. Specifically, the prophets, especially si Moses. Kaya nga ang pananalita ng mga eskriba, mga pariseyo noon, laging kinukot kung ano yung mga tradisyon na nakuha nila, ano yung mga salita na nanggaling sa mga profeta. And they, these were the things that they continue to hear from the religious leaders of that time. Unfortunately, parang sa mga tao, parang may kulang. Bakit? Hindi kasi nila nakikita o hindi klaro sa kanila yung pinanggagalingan ng mga salita na yon. They know. They know that these words of the prophets and the scribes came. The, the Pharisees and the scribes came from the prophets. Especially Father Moses. But then, parang kulang talaga. Kasi, hindi nila nakikita yung mga salita na yon, yung mga turo na yon, sa taong mismo nagsasabi. Walang kunek. Hindi nila nakikita na pinanggagalingan, yung, yung pinanggagalingan mismo ng salita. Paano nangyayari yon? Eh, yung sinasabi ng mga pareseo at mga skriba, hindi nakikita sa buhay nila. Kaya para bagang sa mga tao sa panahon na yun, walang pinanggagalingan yung mga salita na ito. Kulang. Kaya hindi ganun ka kumakapit sa mga puso, sa mga tenga ng mga nakikinig. Ibang-iba sa salita ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Klarong-klaro sa kanila yung pinanggagalingan ng mga salita. Kaya nga pag pinakikinggan natin yung mga salita ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, ibang-iba. Yes, He accounts the words of the prophets. Kaya nga sinasabi niya, it is said. It is said in the scriptures. And afterwards, He proclaims, Now I say to you, Now I say to you, Pag nakikita natin yung preaching ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, ganun ang paraan ng kanyang pananalita. 
O, binabanggit niya yung mga scribe. O, binabanggit niya yung mga profeta. But then, there are those words na sinasabi niya, Now I say to you, it comes from Him. It comes from Him. And somehow, when He utters these words, nakikita ng mga kanyang tagapakinig na yung mga salita na yun galing hindi lamang sa anak ng karpintero, galing sa makapangyarihang tao. Bakit? Kitang-kita kasi nila yung salita na konektado dun sa pagkatao ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Na kung ano man yung sinasabi niya, totoo sa pamumuhay niya. Kung kanyang ipinapahayag ang awa ng Diyos, ay kitang-kita sa buhay niya. Nakikisalamuha siya sa mga makasalanan. Eh kasi meron niyang kapatawaran. Yun ang kanyang sabi. Kaya ibang-iba ang salita ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. These were words that has authority. Kasi klarong-klaro na merong pinanggagalingan. At hindi natatapos doon. Merong pinatutunguhan ng kanyang mga salita. Saan napupunta ang kanyang mga salita? Saan pumupunta? Sabi dito sa ating first readings. Sa ating first reading, Therefore, encourage one another and build up one another. That is where the words of our Lord Jesus Christ goes. It encourages people and it builds people up. Kaya nga ang example agad ng kanyang encounter with the with the possessed person, ano? He healed that possessed person, drove out away the spirit that was possessing this, that person. And what did it do? It encouraged the person. It built the person. Encourage, ano, kapag kasi nabi natin sa Tagalog, pasiglahin, pinasigla. Eh kasi nung napopossess yung tao, parang may sakit, matamlay lagi, hindi nasa tamang pag-iisip. Dahil sa salita ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo na nanggagaling mismo sa Kanya, pinasigla niya yung tao. The work of the devil is always to divide us, to destroy us. Kaya nga, pagka tayo'y nagkakasala, para tayong naguguluhan, ano? Para tayong nadidivide. Meron tayong gustong gawin. Pero iba yung ginagawa natin. Ang aim ko magpakabait eh. Bakit nagiging pasaway ako? Divided, ano? Ay gawa ka doon kasi yung ginagawa ng demonyo. And what does the, the words of our Lord Jesus Christ that has authority do? It builds up. It does not destroy It puts together what has been divided. Kaya pinagaling yung tao na may sakit, na possessed, drove out the spirit that was destroying the person. Yun ang pinatutunguhan ng salita ng ating Panginoong Neso Cristo. Thus I think today, my dear brothers and sisters, This is the very opportunity us who are called to be Christians that is given to us. The gospel that we heard today gave us that opportunity to look at the words that we utter. 
especially sa panahon natin ngayon, na mayroong maraming salita at mayroong maraming paraan ng pagsasalita. That it poses the question to all of us, ano ba yung mga salita na meron tayo? Itong mga salita ba ito, merong klarong pinanggagalingan sa ating mga sarili? O itong mga salitang ito, parang bula. Hindi mo alam kung saan nanggaling. Hindi mo alam, biglang nawala na lang. Yan, dami-dami pa naman yan ngayon. Ano? Klarong-klaro yan, mga fake news. O kaya nga dito sa ating sa ating drive against the pandemic, we are encouraged before we speak about how to treat this pandemic to look at where does the words come from. Kasi ang dami-daming nagkakalat na maling informasyon. At itong nangyayari doon, eh di lalong pinatatamlay ang ating society ang ating mga buhay dahil sa maling informasyon o kaya tuloy-tuloy ang lockdown ay maling informasyon minsan ang maling informasyon kala na itong wala lang pero nakakasira ng tao nakakasira ng tao in a way para tayong demonyo It destroys people. Oh, kaya saan nang gagaling yung mga salita natin? Galing ba talaga sa atin? Na mga tinuturing anak ng Diyos? Na mga tinuturing tagasunod ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo? Paano natin malalaman na nanggagaling sa ating pagiging Kristiyano ang mga salita natin? At tingnan natin yung epekto nito sa mga tao sa paligid natin. Does it encourage people? Does our words give encouragement to people? Pinasisigla ba nila yung, pinasisigla ba natin yung mga tao sa paligid natin? O baka dahil sa salita natin, umiiyak ang mga tao, kumikirot ang mga puso nila. Does it encourage or discourage? Does it build up people? O sinisira natin ang tao dahil sa mga salita natin? Ang salita ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo may otoridad kasi mayroong pinanggagalingan ang kanyang sarili bilang anak ng Diyos. At mayroong pinatutunguhan kasi yung kanyang salita nagbibigay sigla nagbibigay buhay and it builds people up and i think our words should follow the words of christ please all stand through the gospel christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power through him let us pray with confidence lord hear our prayer Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> that the Church may continue to teach Christ truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life, so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may be freed from their bodily or spiritual afflictions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, for our parents, our relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers in ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Penafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please so stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, Gerard, our master, Philemon, our provincial, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that it would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord save, save us from, from the hands of all who hate us. us. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. The Dominican community of the minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021 the first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one of us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation all names of donors and sponsors for the vena masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program thank you very much for your continued support god bless you please so stand the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles our devotees and pilgrims be blessed and made holy in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen.